Dear Ursula, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Global Health Summit. This summit is a special event of the Italian G20 presidency held in cooperation with the European Commission. I would like to thank, first and foremost, President Ursula von der Leyen for co-hosting this event. Many thanks to you all for your presence and for your excellent preparatory work. I should thank all the staff and the organization of uh, the European Commission and of the Italy's government. They have done a fantastic job. I think we will renew our thanks at the end and uh, I'm pretty sure it will be, will be double of what I can say now. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown the importance of international cooperation to address the current and the future health crisis, any future health crisis. This is why we have decided to prepare for this conference through a broad and inclusive process. This pre-summit will host contributions from scientists, medical practitioners, philanthropists, and economists. We must look across countries and across disciplines if we are to understand what's gone wrong during this pandemic and what we can do better in the future. I would like to thank the scientific expert panel and especially the organizing co-chairs, Professor Silvio Brusaferro and Professor Peter Piot. Your report has provided essential guidance for our deliberations and, in particular, for the Rome Declaration that we will present today. I would also like to thank the over 100 non-governmental and civil society organizations that took part to the consultation held in April in cooperation with Civil 20. In particular, many thanks to Global Citizen for organized Vax Live the concert to reunite the world. This event has reached millions of people and has raised awareness on the main topic and aims of the global health science, being a great success. It has allowed to secure 26 million vaccine doses from governments, philanthropists, and the private sector to donate to low and middle income countries, plus an additional $302 million for medical tools. As we prepare for the next pandemic, our priority must be to ensure that we all overcome the current one together. We must vaccinate the world and do it fast. I look forward to hearing your contributions. Thank you.